morning girls and guys uh, so it's not such a bit of mental health stuff so but it is I suffer from uh, PTSD childhood trauma and uh, the time I spent in Northern Ireland when the old war bomb went off in 98 and it's something that I used to try and block out uh, which resulted in me turning to get in on stupid sessions going into the bed. I'd have moments where my kids, I'd drop my kids off at home, I had nothing left to go on to. So my answer was to go to the pub. And it resulted in days upon days of, of feeling low, not wanting to be alive anymore, not wanting to be around anyone. And I struggled, struggled deeply. So what I did, I ended up going to the doctors. Um, it was a big step for me. I mean, it's hard, as people say, it's hard for blokes to open up and admit these problems in a way, and it is. And especially coming from my background where I always had to put a persona up that was a hard, tough guy, I was a soldier in the British Army, I'm a fighter, I ain't showing weakness. And it was destroying me mentally, physically, emotionally. And I, did, I took a big step, I went to the doctors, I got the diagnosis, they gave me meds, um, the meds made me feel a bit cranky, a bit ill. So I decided then now, I was, I mean, I was in the gym anyway, I was coaching full time, but then I decided to concentrate on myself a little bit more. Um, I pushed my body, I cut drinking out over a year ago, I cut everything out, I cut the bad people from my life out, the people that you, you think are your friends that um, had said, come on, let's go to the pub, let's do this. And in reality, what they're doing, they're getting you to come to the pub to make them feel better about themselves as well. And it's, it's a vicious circle. You end up on a bender, you end up on a sesh. You think these people are there supporting you, and they're not really. They're, they're making you go down that hole even further. And it's something I did struggle with. And uh, since turning my life around and concentrating on myself and concentrating into the gym more, so much good has come into my life. Uh, my new partner, the bond with my children is already strong, but it's got stronger. The the way I train, the the way I feel about myself, the confidence in myself, the happiness in myself has grown massively. So last night I attended um, Desi Gap Shop um, talking about mental health it was in Blackburn. And I, you know, anyone who's in the Lancashire area, I highly recommend this. It's bringing communities together. It's from all different cultures, all different backgrounds. Um, you know, last night we had people from Hindu backgrounds, my backgrounds, um, Muslim, ethnicity, and we all came together and we, we blanked out that, you know, we didn't put any religion talking to anything. It was all about us, about what we're dealing with, how we're struggling, and it was amazing. I can't thank these guys enough. Um, you know, Nazim, who's one of my sponsors, who helps me with my PR work. He, you know, he invited me down and I, I opened the store up in front of everyone and I spoke about my issues, my problems and I will be going again. So if anyone is interested in this, do contact me. I'll leave a comment and I will get back to you about, you know, when the next meeting is. It was absolutely amazing. Um, I felt great after it. And I will definitely be going again and I definitely will be open up. Now, there is the old saying, it's okay to not be okay. Well, it, that's all bullshit. It's not okay to be not okay. No one should be not okay. What it is okay to do is talk about it. If you are feeling that way, open up. All right, but it's not okay to be not okay. It's not at all, right? But like I say, it's okay to talk about it. Share them problems with the right people. Talking to strangers helps a lot. And, you know, it's hard for some people, but believe me, you will get there. And, you know, if I can do this, and I can open up about what I've been through, as a child and you know through the armed forces then you know anyone can it, it is hard don't get me wrong it is hard i mean i was dragged up through kids homes from two months old so you're in the army so obviously i went through a lot of shit uh a lot of shit i tried to put out and by putting it out to the back of mind it's a struggle it's a daily struggle and it's something that a lot of people can't handle you know some people are strong some people are weak I class myself as a weak, strong person. I'm on the borderline, and I'm not as strong as what people think. And you know, I've got an emotional side where I do cry a lot. Uh, I'll go home and I'll cry on my own. I'll 
I will hold it in until I explode and then I end up crying. And it's something I can't control, but it's something I'm getting, getting a grip of. So like I said, don't hold these things in these emotions. It makes it worse. Now, my answer to everything is getting in the gym. I mean, some people don't want to do that, but I highly recommend getting in the gym, go for a walk. Do something that, you know, that's going to get them endorphins released and it feels amazing. That is why I'm constantly here now every day. Every morning I'm up at five o'clock, I'm in the gym at six. Um, I, you know, I have to bother with myself sometimes that I need a day's rest, but I don't like resting. <laughs> Once I rest, that's when the, the mind starts ticking over, but believe me, it does work. So like I said, guys, you know, if anyone is struggling out there, you know, and they want to contact me, um, I'll, you know, leave a comment or something that we'll, you know, we'll talk. And um, hopefully, anyone who's in the Lancashire area, Blackburn area, Preston area, any of the surrounding areas, even if you're willing to travel, I'll let you know when this next meeting is, and you know we'll get on it and we'll get together and share these issues and share these problems. All right, it's good to talk and it's good to share these issues that we have, and hopefully we can all help each other. So stay happy, stay safe, guys. Thank you.